Benson Henderson taking on Anthony Pettis, the rematch. These two fought back in WEC 53. It was the last fight in WEC. And in the final round, Anthony Pettis did the kick heard around the world, around the MMA world. Really a beautiful kick. This kid's got moves. Anthony Showtime Pettis. I think he moves like a, a LeBron James. Uh, he makes new moves up all the time. You gotta give this kid credit. And uh, he's 16 and 2. Just came off a vicious knockout over Donald Cerrone, one of my favorite guys, and uh, kicked him in the body in the first round. And proved that he deserves this fight. And uh, what do you guys think about the TJ Grant concussion? Do you guys think it's BS? Just a way to get TJ's name out there. Had to throw that in there, guys. That's what I think. Think it's a load of crap, but uh, I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about this fight. I'm pumped up. I want to see it. And uh, Anthony Pettis deserves this, I think. Uh, even though he's had his losses in the UFC, uh, basically his loss. Uh, he's had his problem, excuse me, but he's had his loss in the UFC. One loss to Clay Guida, uh, where he got taken down over and over again. And besides that, uh, came back, three wins in a row. And the uh, last time he lost before that was in WEC, so he deserves it. Uh, he's taking on Benson Henderson, who, if you put your money on Benson Henderson, guys, you're going to win time and time again. Uh, Benson is 19-2 and two and uh, just beat Gilbert Melendez in, a, in another five-round split decision victory. And uh, really not impressing the fans, you know. Only got two knockouts to his credit. And uh, basically fights a smart fight. Anthony, you better be ready for a smart fight. And uh, what do you think, guys? Who do you think is going to win this fight? Who do you want to win this fight? Do you want Anthony Pettis to kick him in the head again? Maybe even a better kick? Is that what you're thinking? Or are you guys expecting a five-round decision victory? Uh... I think Anthony Pettis can do it, and uh, I'm putting my bet on Anthony Pettis. Reason why is he finishes fights, and I'm a fan of guys that finish fights. And uh, love the last fight over Donald Cerrone. Uh, beautiful fight over Joe Lozon at UFC 144. So we know he's ready, and uh, Clay just took him down over and over again. And uh, you got to consider that he beat Benson the last time, so he's got confidence going into the fight. But uh, it was close. Even though he won that decision, it was close. So, what do you guys think? I mean, I really want to hear your opinions on this fight. It's pretty much a toss-up, you know. I expect 50% of the people to say Anthony, uh, you know, 50 to say Benson, or maybe 60-40 or something. So, I think it's a good thing for UFC, and uh, I like that TJ Grant got his name thrown in the mix, you know. He, he knocks people out, and uh, love that fight against Gray Maynard at UFC 160. That was sick. So, Anyway, guys, I'm out. Uh, UFC 164, it's going to be in Milwaukee. I'm pretty psyched about it. And uh, really psyched for UFC 165, John Jones. And uh, UFC 167, St. Pierre. And uh, 168, I don't know who's fighting that one. If it's going to be Misha Tate versus uh, Ronda Rousey. Or if we're going to get Chris Weidman versus Anderson Silva. But uh, be sure to check out some of my other videos. I got tons of crap besides just predictions, you know, actually getting down and dirty with the fighters. So check that stuff out. Um, I don't even want to tell you what I got here. But check out some of my other videos. Peace out, guys. And I uh, hope you're a subscriber. Later.